how fun of a week is Juan Soto having? I don't know that you could have a better week. Has he decided anything yet? He's decided who he'll talk to, and that's what the meetings are this week. It's it's the Blue Jays, the Red Sox, the Mets, and Yankees. Now, I'll also say the meetings are happening in L.A., which makes me think whether or not L.A. has a quote-unquote meeting, <laughs> they're not far. You know what I mean? I don't love that it's in L.A. I know that's where Boris's office is. Sure, uh, I have happenstance, man. They got a big airport. Know. Yeah. Uh, um, the Blue Jays have just been written off by everyone. I don't disagree with that line of, of thinking. The Red Sox should be written off, um, but I don't know that that's true at the moment. I don't know, excuse me, that they are actually. That should out. they both be written off for the same, like they're just not going to spend what it's going to uh, take? I mean, the Blue Jays have uh, uh, the uphill battle of like paying in Canadian dollars. Uh, sure. <laughs> Yen, I believe they call it. And the ODBs, yeah. And uh, <laughs> they, I don't know, like they've they signed George Springer. No one else really tried to sign George Springer. Like they've they've had cool players. I don't. I'm not. Vladdy out. So he's he's an expiring. It's his last year. Um, okay. And that. Most people think he's going to leave right. just as Vlad senior left Canada 20 years ago. You know what I mean? It's just kind of what the Guerreros do. Mm -hmm. So it, it's like, they've had cool players. I'm not anti blue Jays, but it is one of those things like I, until they can really convince and Springer wasn't a, a not big deal. Uh, but again, there wasn't a, like the Astros were fine. Just letting him walk. They've won since he left. He's one of the great postseason hitters of the last 20 years. And, really didn't didn't have a lot of movement on the open market the blue jays put a bag out there and he took it so when it comes to like have the blue jays ever beaten out the red sox yankees and steve cohen for a free agent no no they they haven't done that and there's not a lot of reason to believe they will this time and they're they were in that otani mix though right like legitimate or what i'm asking was, was it or were they in meetings or i think they put legitimate money on the table i don't think they were ever legitimately a consideration like option for him yeah. the rumors were that he was on the plane flying there to sign there all because i believe you say kikuchi had like a birthday dinner and they <laughs> the report was like there's a large japanese contingent going out to dinner tonight it could only meet otani and it was just like no it was <laughs> no he's just 26 birth. yeah <laughs> i don't even think it was his birthday i think it was like his wife's birthday too so i think he <laughs> i think they ended up fucking over their surprise party <laughs> love it very normal behavior right so that was uh that was tough um so like i i do believe their mm -hmm. money will be real i just don't think that their offer will be real i think the red Sox money and offer will be real i don't think he's going to sign here but i don't think it's a zero percent chance like i did a week ago all you want is a chance, right? For sure. Uh, I just, it, it, I, I want them to land him for the talent, obviously, but it's such yes. a shift, shift back in the correct direction. Um, that's more what I, I care about. Like, I, you don't go in this meeting unless you know what the numbers are heading in. So if you don't they, get this meeting, yeah, right. Uh, so I like that's only five. I'll, I'm still counting it as. Five teams, but also still four teams because I'm not counting the Blue Jays and I am counting the Dodgers, despite the fact that they don't have a meeting. Um, now the odds, they said Yankees minus 130, Mets plus 160. Any other team is plus 900, which is interesting. That is crazy. Um, Dodgers 1100, Cubs 18, Blue Jays 2000, Giants 2000, Nationals 22, Red Sox 25. Yeah, I think that's too big of a... Uh, I'd say if they're one of the four, yeah. then yeah. Yeah, just factoring that in alone. <laughs> it's um I I I don't know that the Mets are like some guarantee because if if the money is gonna be same Boston versus the Mets, I do think you would pick the Red Sox. If the money's the same Boston Mets Yankees, I think you would pick the Red Sox. I think the money would have to be 
so astronomically why, higher. Why, if it's the same, why do you think he would lean there? It is his favorite team. Like <laughs> he has said that many times. We do like have growing the, up, that was a team he watched. We had Manny Pedro and, and Ortiz when he was a kid. You know what I mean? Right. And and I do believe Ortiz is in these meetings, uh, which he should be. If he's not, I was say if he's not, yes, you, you're yeah, blowing it. <laughs> crazy. Um, Manny Ramirez. Uh, has no recollection of playing for the Red Sox. He would not help. Uh, you know what I mean? Pedro, yeah, which, John, help. good kid. You play ball, <laughs> but this is this is where the the it's already started to come out. Like he wants to be the guy, and the Yankees gave Aaron Judge the captain patch for no reason. Uh, but he is the guy in New York. He's also thirty four, I believe, or about to be thirty four. Soto's twenty six, which is. Yeah one year younger than Raphael Devers. So while Judge has been better, if you're projecting out the next five years, doesn't look great for the Yankees. Like, they're not in a great spot in terms of current and future assets. I know they were just in the World Series, but Soto's sitting there like, yeah, that was me. I did that. I don't right. care. Like, uh, no one else here helped me. I moved by the me. Way. Yeah. <laughs> the Mets, I, I won't rule out. Like, I, I think if the Red Sox, because they have the second meeting, Toronto went first. The Red Sox okay. have the second meeting. If okay. they are the first team to put a number out there that begins with a seven, which I do think it will ultimately end up taking to sign him, mm. that kind of takes away the shock factor of the Mets saying it the next day. You know what I mean? It's like, all right, cool. You value me as much as I already know the Red Sox do, and I like the Red Sox. Uh, yeah, so that number start with an eight <laughs> for like possibly. two less years or something. Yeah. Definitely possible. It could come. It could come down to opt outs and contract structure. Like I don't. I don't think the Mets and Yankees have zero chance by any means. I don't think no, this is for either. sure not a lock for any team. Anyone right now who thinks they've got Soto, you I, like. There's just no way to know. Hmm. But in terms of wanting to be the guy, he could do that on the Mets or Red Sox day one. Giants, Nationals, him going back to the Nationals would be just the longest con ever, man. They're set really up did, nice. I did. I really did want. I wanted y'all to get some. I had to know if y'all were serious. I'm ready to take the deferred bread now, man. I'm good. If he wanted to just play with James Wood, I would understand it. I would understand. No pressure. Yeah, no pressure, and just ball out, make seven hundred million dollars, live in D.C. Hey, yeah, two worst ways to go about it. Pretty good. I, I that would be very fun. Him going to there or the Padres would be very funny. I don't hate this any other team plus nine hundred though. Right? Why? Would, what would incentivize me to sneak in here? <laughs> like, just take the field. Yeah, I don't. Until he's signed, I don't care how many meetings he has this week. Honestly, like, unless he plans on deciding uh, See, Monday, yeah. fresh off the meetings, anyone can get a meeting. You know what I mean? I, you could offer whatever. You don't necessarily need the meeting. That's why I won't rule out the Dodgers until he has signed elsewhere. Uh, but I. I <clears throat> I genuinely don't believe it's biased. I just don't think he's going back to the Yankees. I've I've never really felt that. I mean, it could I like saying that I don't have an official meeting with the Dodgers to me is like tell us whatever your best offer you get is and we will we will match that. Whatever you go take your meeting. Like you know, we all know this is going to we're not paying less than probably 700 million dollars for this. Go get your offer and we'll Go get your number, and then we'll doctor it up however we need to to make it work for both of us. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, like, I won't rule out the Dodgers, but I do think he wants to beat the Dodgers more than be on them. We'll see. I, we will. I mean, again, if you're, yeah, you're getting whatever you want regardless. Right. So it's, we'll see. I, I'm the only thing I'm really curious that what whatever contract he takes, is it gonna be just a full 12, 14 year, whatever? Is it gonna be a like a op just because of his age? Like if I'm balling again, can I opt out at 30, at 31, yeah. at 32 and get one more big crack at the the apple? Or is this just my like I'm I'm good with 750 million. I think I can make that work. I think I, honey, I think we we have to tighten our uh, belts a little bit, but I think we can make it work. We were talking to Lou Merloni last night, and he brought up the same point about the opt out because Harper took his last deal, thirteen years, no opt out, and 
that's kind of strange uh, to have no right for he was like 25 when he's pretty young he was the same yeah so right right so it will be interesting because even lou was saying if there is an opt-out maybe those first five years are 50 million and then the the rest of the contracts 40 because it doesn't necessarily matter if you don't think the guy's even going to stay right yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, maybe that is the stru- yeah, the Dodgers said, yeah, go get your number and whatever you want, we'll put the most into the first five years. Right. Years or whatever. And then after that, yeah, it won't matter because more than likely you're gonna opt out and get another seven. You'll be thirty, but you'll get another eight hundred million dollars <laughs> for twelve more years. He may, but I, I also think if you've just looked at free agency the last couple of years and you can't predict what it's gonna look like in five years, but mm. If you just look at recency, yes, I would like the option to opt out, but I also definitely want the option to opt in to the largest total number. Right. Regard, like just no matter what, I know I'm set. Maybe I, I get hurt. Who knows what could happen? Uh, so yeah, I definitely think he will have maybe even two opt outs. Like, uh, yeah, twenty six is crazy young, man. Crazy. So crazy. I, if the point is yeah, maximize the dollar, then. It would yeah, take you four or five, 200 million these first four or five years and then hit it again it one last yeah. time or, yeah, or two, depending on how you plan. I mean, we I, I was talking about it on the sky earlier. If you give him a 15 year deal, I don't know that you're paying any. He, he plays it out. I don't know at any point you're paying for a bad player, even at age 40, 41, right. even as he like, ages, even. Yeah. We just saw age 40 David Ortiz be one of the best power hitters in the league. And as much as I love and respect David Ortiz, he is not the hitter that Juan Soto is. He just isn't. And he wasn't uh, at 26. Right. At 26, he was released from the Minnesota, <laughs> Minnesota Twins. Twin, yeah. <laughs> it was signed for like league minimum uh, by the Red Sox. So that was, yeah, much no, different. I, yeah. Because you could definitely some left to first to DH to whatever on those right. last couple of years just because he's hitting 358. Right. And his eyes so good that it's like, all right, age 40, Juan Soto is probably like the third best DH in the American League. You know what I mean? Like, he's, I mean, who knows what the cap looked like 15 years? Like, again, 70 right. million now is crazy sticker shock. But we're like, no, it's actually 14 percent of the cap in 15 years. So, yeah, it's yeah, it's not outrageous. The where I think the Red Sox. Hey, I think they have been planning for Soto. They had they had said things even under previous uh general manager if if you read between the lines they were obviously talking about soto and vladdy uh to a lesser extent but they were talking philosophically two years ago about like yeah we're not trying to give 12 year deals to guys who are already 30. now someone's 26 wink wink <laughs> we would be more interested in doing that yeah. um so I'm I I'm more excited than I should be. I keep like trying to lie to myself, like he's not. I don't have again. faith, Mick. Don't do it. Don't. No, it's it's bad because it's like now he's just gonna resign with the Yankees, and it's like why did I ever think for a steal? Fifteen <laughs> hundred, fifteen million for fifteen years. Why did he? No, what? Yeah, that would second me. Um, me too. So I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm more hopeful than I, I care to be, but I've got fucking Carabas saying things. I've got other connected people saying things. It's bad. It's 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 not good. So I'm I'm hopeful for the best. And it's it's like it's signing LeBron in his prime. Like it's it's just such an unfathomable thought. I mean, that's why again, it's if we got one percent of a one percent chance for this, worth it. <laughs> very <laughs> worth and it if we don't I've get them we don't get them but yeah worth it I've trying s- i've seen fans like i you could use the money on other things worse things like that but multiple but most that's i think that's what you're forgetting i could get a whole outfield that's much worse at everything than one billy this is Juan soto now he'll cost you 70 million dollars i can get you much worse corner outfielders in a center outfielder for a bargain I saw someone break down if he took like X amount over 14 years, what it would look like annually. And it was like, if he took like 660, it would be like 43 a year. If he took 750, it would be 53 a year. Mm. 
that doesn't seem like that's basically a long reliever. You know what I mean? Or like a yeah, your your seventh yeah. reliever. That's the difference between low balling him, quote unquote, low balling yeah. him, and and really being involved seriously. That's how it should be looked at, not any other way. It's like, yeah, we can find a middle reliever. Like we <laughs> we'll find that guy. We'll we'll uh, fast track some pitcher in the minors to fill that role. Claim somebody on waivers. Yeah, something. You, yeah. You can build the boat so many ways. Like you get mm. get the captain. <laughs> get, get the get that guy. All right, he might be like the boat. He's the boat. He's the yacht. Get the yacht. We will boat. find the captain. We'll, we'll find out what kind of toilet paper to put on this ship. Uh, <laughs> get the yacht first. It's very exciting. Baseball, like A-Rod, when he signed with Texas, like I, I genuinely don't know. Pujols was older when he signed. Obviously a big deal, but he was older. Everyone else is kind of traded. Like they don't yeah. hit free agency at this point of their career ever. They don't make the majors. Yeah, early in their career. Yeah. So it, it's it's truly like nothing. I don't know. I feel like a Knicks fan when LeBron was the free agent. Like, that's genuinely how I feel. I mean, and again, 15 years later, would you say for certain that LeBron James retires without ever playing for the Knicks? Would you say for certain? <laughs> no. That, all, all you want is the hope. Well, now I... Listen... If he plays from now, great for them. But that's not what they wanted. Like, I don't want age 42 one Soto. Uh, unless he'd already played 26 through 41 there. They could play. If he wants to play till he's 50, I'm fine with Rack that. Rack up 4,000 hits, yeah. Yeah, completely fine with that. But I, I need you there from, from hit 1,500 through 4,000. I, I I don't want, I don't want to pay 398 through. Yeah. So, yeah, very, very exciting time. In baseball, even Shohei was thirty, right? Ah, uh, seven hundred. Mi- I'd have to consider it, man. I'd have to consider it. You'd live in Boston for seven hundred million, wouldn't you? I'd have to consider it. I'd have to consider it. Um, I would consider going to the Underdog app, entering promo code Charm, and getting my thousand dollars in bonus cash. Uh, but other that than rescue that, is a. I got rescued. The Rosen got hurt last night. Rescued me on two entries. Uh, so that rescue protection very necessary. And they just big. throw it on there, Mick. I didn't have to say insure me. They were just like, man, you are gonna give us this bread anyway. You you're cold right now with us. So uh, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs>